Welcome to the next of the striking treasures. Uh, we're going to look at Boshi Ken, uh, also called Shito Ken. Uh, this is again um, like a Swiss Army fist. <laughs> Basically, from from a standard traditional fist, thumb slides out. You're striking with the thumb. Now, unfortunately, um, my nails aren't up to this, but. Traditionally wise, most martial artists' nails would be extremely tough, literally like bone, and I've seen people with talons, you know, thick bone on their thumb, thumbnails. So what they're striking with a lot of the time is that nail, which is quite nasty. Um, ultimately, don't, don't try striking on hard bony areas because it will hurt. Um, you can damage your thumb quite a lot. Now, looking at uh, the most basic form of this, again, I'm going to look at uh, using part of Kion Hapo, Use Jumanji. Can I pull my machine, please? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Right. Now, um, posture wise, Jumanji cross. Yeah. Use Jumanji Kumite. So I'm leaning into this. Paul's gonna, again, I'm giving him a window to punch through it. It's stupid for him to go low unless it's a kick because. Yeah, my, hand, my hands are low. So from this point here, Paul comes to the face and I move off. I'm simply coming off 45 degrees and then I'm turning my body. From here I lunge through and strike up into the muscle complex just up under the arm. Paul's already thrown back at that point, so he comes in with the next punch. I come off. Thumb is what's doing the, the strikes here. Um, I'm striking to the arm here. I then use the arm as a guide to slide down and strike. Okay, I'm not doing this and then striking it. So here I'm coming off, turning, and using the arm as a guide to come down and strike. Now, the important thing from this point is that when Paul strikes, he's a lot nearer. Reality says this arm is going to be very numb and very painful, so the likelihood is if you had this done properly on you, you won't want to be throwing that next punch. It's quite a dissuader. But, you know, in the interests of people that are morons that are going to carry on throwing punches no matter what, the next punch comes out. Now, I can't come back 45 degrees without causing myself some problems. You know, Paul only has to carry that lunge through on the punch, and I'm already off balance anyway. So, what we do, uh, just do this so the camera seems to see straight. So what actually happens is, from here, I come off 45 degrees, then I come off 90. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, face it, face it. So important is back. Weight's coming into this leg. The turn comes through here in the hips, which opens pull up. I then lunge through and strike with the thumb. As this one comes in, 45, uh, off 90 degrees. I'm a lot nearer. I'm actually inside pulls up. So this strike here, rather than me just turning, I turn and come up here, then drive down. So from this side. Yeah. Off. Yeah. So, boshi can, as I said. What I wouldn't want to do is hit really hard bony areas which hurt me. You know, I might be able to cause some damage to Paul, but not that damage to me, and my hands are, you know, essential. You know, feet are essential. Without them, you can't move, you can't hit. You know, so you've got to look after yourself, and this is what targeting is about. 
So other applications of washi can. So um, punch comes in. From here, thumb comes in and down. Incidentally, super sternal notch. That's where I strike for that one. Clap calls are good. Also, we'll just have a um, yeah. Okay, we'll have a bit of practice. So um, the punch. Said, this is this is quite this is a powerful strike if used correctly, also for, for pressure points. So, um, so again, we'll, we'll go back to punching. I just wanted you to see that you can use this for other things practically, and this is uh, and its applications for these different fists. So, as with uh, this technique, like looks similar to others we've done. So, punch comes in, move here. The I've got one as well, I've got it so for an example of a grappling one you can use a push again. So he comes in, attacks me here. This time I'm going up, I'm capturing the side of the back of his head, I'm going here. Pin him down this way. Okay, this time, push again the testicles. As I come over, yeah. I slide down what she can to the temple. Okay. Behind here. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to show you some more boshi can. Um, we'll do it slowly and we'll strike different points working from the bottom of the body up to the top. So, so, so Colin punches me, I dodge it. Down, strike him in the leg, this side, leg that side, into the co, solar plexus, into the top of the ribs, into the throat, take out of the hair, move through, strike into the eye socket. Here, leg, leg, co on the other side. Step in, solar plexus. Move through, strike to the top of the ribs. Side of the neck, into the eye socket. Trap the leg, push your can in again, into the leg, roll away. Other side. Dodge it. Trap the leg. So, so I'm crushing his leg. His leg between my leg. The boshi can bends him. Solar plexus underneath the chin, through through eye socket. Down, boshi can again, to the co, that's the groin, and off. Thank you, Colin. Oh. 